What's going on everybody crazy dog back for another video and these are my week 11 picks for the Steven Rose tournament as always shout out to my dude Steven Rose repping the Houston Texans speaking of which we see the Texans in a few weeks that'll be a good game but I'm not talking about that right now I'm talking about week 11 and with that being said let's get into these picks now, before I make my Week 11 picks, we have six teams that have a bye week this week. The whole entire AFC East, the Niners, and the Browns, of course. So, uh, to the six teams that have a bye, Bills, Browns, Dolphins, Patriots, Jets, and Niners, get healthy, heal up, be smart, and we'll see you next week. Now, time to make my Thursday Night Football pick. We got Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers heading to Seattle to face Russell Wilson and the Seahawks. This will be a very, very good game. This might be one of the best games on the Thursday night schedule. I know for sure it'll be better than last week's game, without a doubt. Now watch, one of these teams is just going to absolutely blow out the other. I mean, my predictions suck when it comes to these things, but... uh. I think the Packers are going to go into Seattle and they're going to get the dub and they're going to improve to 5-4-1 and one, and they're going to stay alive in the NFC playoff race. The Seahawks, I think they're going to be against the eight ball from this point on and uh, we'll see what happens with them. But I got the Packers winning this game on Thursday night. Moving on to Sunday games, starting with the one o'clock slate. I'm going to fly through these things. Might say some about the game every now and then, but... Uh, for the most part, I'm going to fly through these things. I'm not trying to have a 20-minute video because I know that would be a pain for Stephen Rose to have to go through a 20-minute video to get my picks. I know someone said, you could just put the picks in the comment section. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing that, but we'll see. Not going to do that for this one, though. But anyways, we got the Bengals heading to Baltimore to face the Ravens. The Ravens are standing on the edge of the cliff. They lose this game, they're done. Their season is over. I highly doubt they will make the playoffs with a six-loss record. They lose to the Bengals, it's over. And I think that will give them an edge. That's going to put pressure on their squad, and they're going to go out there and try to kick the crap out of the Bengals. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Give me the Baltimore Ravens to stay alive and get the win over the Bungles, and they're going to improve to 5-5. Five and five. Staying alive in the AFC playoff race at least for another week. And that will send the Bengals also to 5-5. Five and five. So give me the Baltimore Ravens. Next, we got the Dallas Cowboys heading to Atlanta to face the Falcons. Give me the Atlanta Falcons here. I heard that they were not prepared for the Browns. Uh, one of their players said they did not have the same fire or focus. I think they're going to have that fire and focus plus more like they're going to be so focused against the Cowboys there's no way they're going to come in against the Cowboys and overlook them hell no I think they're going to try to take care of business against the Cowboys and I think that's exactly what's going to happen they're going to rebound after losing to the Browns a team that owns them by the way you know uh got to rub it in the Falcons fans faces a little bit you know you know I can't I can't resist man we own the Falcons but, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Falcons to win this game. And uh, they're going to bounce back and go back to 500 at 5-5. Five and five. And the Cowboys will fall to 4-6. and six. Next, we got the Buccaneers heading to New York to face the Giants at MetLife. Giants coming off their second win of the season. Buccaneers suck. Give me the Giants to get their third win of the season. Next, we got the Steelers heading to Jacksonville. This one is rather easy to pick. Give me the Pittsburgh Steelers to get the win over the Jaguars. I'm going to take the Redskins over the Texans. I know that's a shocker, but the Redskins are looking pretty good. I actually think the Redskins can take down the Texans. That's my pick of the week right there. Mm -hmm, that's my upset pick right there. Mm -hmm, I'm picking the Redskins at home. Mainly because it's kind of a draw, an even pick, so it's like, when I went in doubt, go with the home team. So I'm going to go with the Redskins here. Mm -hmm. I know. You guys are like, what? Crazy dogs picking the Redskins? I might change it, though. So Stephen Rose, if you see this, I might change it. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. But I'm going to go with the Redskins for now against the Texans. 
Next, we got the Indianapolis Colts hosting the Titans. I'm going to go with the Titans in this one. And then for the final 1 o'clock game, we got the Panthers going to, the, going to Detroit. I'm going to go with the Panthers to get the win over Detroit in the Motor City. Moving on to 4 o'clock games, we have two 405 and one 425. Broncos, Chargers, this one's easy. I'm going with the Chargers. I'm going to go Cardinals over the Raiders, and uh, I'm actually going to pick the Saints at home over the Eagles. I know some Eagles fans think they can win this game, but you're going to the Dome. The Saints are damn near unbeatable there, and I think Drew Brees and that squad are going to take care of business. The Eagles just do not look good right now. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's the injuries. Maybe it's a Super Bowl hangover. I don't know, but they just look like garbage right now, bruh. You lost to the Cowboys, bruh. Damn. And Eagles fans were talking about a Cowboys funeral. Huh, okay, so much about that. Well, the uh, Cowboys came back to life and beat the crap out of the Eagles last week, and I think the Saints are going to hang 40 on the Eagles. Mm-hmm. I think the Eagles' defense is low-key suspect, and I think Drew Brees is going to torch them. So give me the Saints at home. Sunday Night Football, this one was flexed. We have the Vikings and Bears. Oh, Da Bears. That's my pick. Da Bears. I'm picking Da Bears on Sunday Night Football over the Vikings at home. In Chicago, Monday Night Football. This was supposed to be in Mexico City. But they just announced that they are moving the game to Los Angeles. I think this game could be an overtime game. I think the winner wins by less than a touchdown. This will be back and forth to high-octane offenses. Although the Chiefs have a suspect defense, I think that Rams offense will light it up. I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Rams at home getting the dub. So there you have it. Those are my Week 11 picks. I'm Crazy Dog 99 Again, shout out to Stephen Rose. If you have any questions, you know, hit me up on Facebook or, you know, in the comments on YouTube. But uh, just to run through my picks again, I got Packers, Ravens. Yeah, Packers, Ravens, Falcons, Giants, Steelers, Redskins for now, Titans, Panthers, Chargers, Cardinals, Saints, Bears, Rams. There you go. So those are my picks. Hope you like this video. I'm Crazy Dog 99. Let's go Browns. And I'm out.